Hello and welcome back to a new video. My name is Michael and since a lot of you guys wished the voiceover format back, here we go with push day number two. So I started my workout with planche leans, five sets, and at the last two sets I added some short full planche holds just to get also some more specific volume in. For the planche leans, I always focus on maximum intensity, which means I try to lean as much in as possible without losing form, because only in that way the planche lean really works and you really achieve intensities that get you on the next level. If you just lean in pretty sloppy and without loading your shoulders and having all your weight on the feet, the planche lean won't get you better. Next on the list are dips against the resistance band. This exercise is really nice to tackle sticking points that are above 90 degree. Since the dip gets heavier, the higher you push because of the non-linear resistance of the resistance band. So very, very great exercise. Try it out. It's way harder than it looks. Um, how I adjusted the setup, I will show you in a short clip after this one. And for your interest, on the 25th of February, I will have a big weighted dip seminar. It will be in English, my first uh, public seminar in English. Uh, the price will be 30 euros for two hours of dip knowledge. Um, yeah, check the King of Weighted Shop. Be there if you're interested in educating yourself more about the uh, yeah, science behind dips. And then see you in the seminar, guys. Since it's a full body push day, obviously next exercise needs to be a squat. I did 3 sets of 6 reps with 160 kg, which is also my beltless volume PR. So uh, shout out to myself, <laughs> pretty proud on this one. And yeah, I used to have 2 low bar sessions weekly, now I have 1 high bar and 1 low bar since uh, 2 low bar sessions um, created a lot of pressure on my elbows, which yeah kind of lead to a small golfer's elbow which is now gone since uh, I erased one low bar session and replaced it with a high bar session. So if you're having elbow problems, um, low bar definitely can be a cause. So be careful with this one and adjust the training if necessary. The push day continued with some overt work, for that I used the overt press um, 3 to 4 sets, 8 reps at 60 kg on the barbell. Came in pretty easy, so I probably gonna increase the weight in the next session. Um, using a belt here to just stabilize my spine, uh, because after the squats it's just uh, pretty exhausting to go without a belt on the overt press. And this just, yeah is a comfort thing you definitely don't need a belt it just makes the stability a bit easier and so it's not the limiting factor on the overhead press last one on the list were some front raises in a supinated arm position which is basically a shoulder and planche assistance work we have a more dynamic approach pretty nice exercise good conditioning for straight arm strength 
Usually I also implement some chest isolation at the end, but yeah, just didn't have the time at this workout anymore. I usually go for cable flies then or some push-ups or whatever uh, I'm interested in on that day just to get a solid blood flow also in my chest since the only real chest exercise on that day are dips. Thanks for listening guys, that was the workout for today. If you're interested in attending the Weighted Dip Seminar, definitely check out the King of Weighted Shop. And if you're interested in participating in my online coaching, so that I am your personal coach and help you to achieve your weighted and skill goals, feel free to check the link in the description and just schedule your free consulting call and then we will talk about my online coaching program and see if I am the right man to help you with your goals.